Welcome. And follow me as a Realme 11. And today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Let me just quickly fix up the camera just a little bit. There we go. Um, so we can see that the phone I have in front of me is uh, locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern. And as long as I don't know it, obviously I wouldn't be able to finish up the setup. Now I can either use pattern or the Google account. One of those will work. But we are assuming that we don't know either one of those. So to bypass this, unfortunately, we'll need another device. Uh, so any other Android with a Google Play Store access will suffice. And that's really the only thing that you uh, that you need for this. Uh, other, I guess, one more thing would be internet connection, but that is kind of a given. So uh, let's just get straight into it. Now, if you're on the very first page where you get to select your desired language, progress through the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. And if you're already on the locked page, then go back to the Wi-Fi connection page. So once you see this page right over here, uh, if you haven't done so yet, connect to your Wi-Fi network. And once you connect to it, you will click on this eye icon for information. And then we're gonna click right here, the share button. Now I'm gonna put my hand over it and just so I can block the QR code that's gonna be generated for obvious reasons. So you can see part of the QR code right here. And at the bottom, you do have the nearby options. You wanna press on it. From here, we're gonna select continue and we're gonna then select allow. And then you wanna choose need help sharing. Give it a moment. From here, you want to click on these three dots and select share article. And you're looking for messages application. We're going to create a new message. And in the to field, you want to pop in like any kind of numbers right here. So I'm going to just, I guess, use 86 apparently. Uh, and that's good enough. Now, the number doesn't need to be real. There is no SIM card in this device, as you can see right here, no SIM card. So I am not really sending this to anyone. Now, once you pop in a number and confirm it, it will automatically paste that article in the message field. So you want to get rid of it. Once you remove it, type in www.youtube.com. Now, it is very important that you type in the extension, this part, because without it, uh, when you send this message and try to open up YouTube, it will open it up in a pop-up view, which won't give us access to the settings that we need. Uh, but with the extension, it opens it up as a full-fledged application in a full-screen mode, which is what we need. So like this, and we're gonna simply send it you want to click right here, top to load preview, give it a moment, and then click on the image of YouTube. And as you can see, it opens up in a full window format. Now in here, we're going to navigate to the account. And then we're going to select settings, about, and Google privacy policy. We're going to select uh, use without an account. No thanks. And in the search bar, you want to type hardreset.info slash bypass. I'm going to type it in myself. And obviously, if you need a moment to uh, copy this link once you see it, I'll pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. Give it a moment, there is going to be an annoying pop-up. There we go. Now in here, we're going to scroll down to settings up. You want to simply press on it. And this will redirect us to the settings. Now here we want to select home screen and lock screen, and then home screen layout. And this will open up our home screen without actually finishing up the setup. Now keep in mind the device is still locked, so there is next thing that we need to do. So I'm gonna swipe to the left and we're looking for tools. Guess it's not there. Oh it's actually on the first page right over here. And in tools we're looking for clone phone application. Open it up 
and then select that this is a new device. We're gonna allow whatever it requires. Then next thing you wanna select that you will be using an Android phone as the other device, so this one. And it generates a QR code. And this device is right now prepped for uh, the bypass. Next, we're gonna grab our other device. Here, we will navigate to Play Store. And we're looking for Clone Phone. Now we're looking for the Realme one, but if we can't see a Realme one, Apple should work as well. Uh, so will the OnePlus because they are basically the same company. So just to prove this, I'm gonna open up the Apple version of it. I'm gonna install it. Next, we're gonna open it up. Again, whatever it requires, allow the access to it. So we're gonna be doing a lot of this setting and enabling it. I'm going back. We're going to select start migrating and again settings. Find the clone phone app from the list and enable. Go back. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I have insufficient battery apparently. So I'm going to quickly connect it to charge. Hopefully this will allow me to continue. Start migrating. Settings. Again, allow. While using the app, allow, allow. Allow, allow, allow. Okay, while using the app, and there we go. Now, simply grab this device. As you can see, camera is open on here. So what we're gonna do is just point the camera at the QR code. There we go. It will connect these two devices together using hotspot. As you can see, there is one device connected right now. Let's select okay. Let me lower down the brightness. We go. So in here, you want to deselect everything by tapping on this button right here, like so. Then swipe down and tap on applications. There is only one app that we can actually move over, at least on this device, so that's what I'm gonna select. Now it is advised that you select application that has the smallest size. Unfortunately, Google Play Store has a hundred megabytes in size, so it's far from being the smallest one. Uh, but that's the only option I have right here, so that's what I'm gonna select. And we're gonna just click on the check mark. And then we're gonna select start migrating. Now the migration might go successfully or unsuccessfully, we will see that in a second, but no matter which one will happen, it doesn't really matter because in both cases it should work. And also to point it out, as you remember, I did install the Apple version and it works just fine on the Realme. And you can see right here that it failed one, successful zero. That does not matter at all. Because we can all get rid of this device now. Because the simple process of trying to transfer already kind of bypassed portion of the setup. So when you click on done, you can see that we can now choose our uh, navigation style. So I'm gonna choose gestures just because that's what I prefer. And we're gonna skip choosing our lock screen and select later. Done. Agree. Get started. And again, we're not done just yet. There is one last thing that we'll need to do. So, uh, again, we have access to our home screen. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the previous one because we actually finished up the setup. So if we would reboot the device, it would still go back to the home screen unlike the previous one. But like I said, one last thing to do would be to navigate into the settings. And in here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to additional settings. Again, scroll all the way down to backup and reset and choose reset phone, erase all data, erase data, and press on the button once again. Now, the reason you want to do this is because the device is still technically locked. So it still contains the previously utilized uh, screen lock, which for me would be pattern, and the previously signed in Google account. 
and by performing a reset of the device through settings like i'm advising you to do right now uh, the device will be forced to remove these uh, protections from it uh, from the memory therefore fully unlocking itself unfortunately this will take a couple minutes uh, of just waiting for the reset to finish up and once it's completed you'll be taken to the setup of your device but at that point you can set up your phone however you want now the reason i don't want to go through this on the video is because it's really once you press on the confirmation there the second time erase data uh, it's just a lot of waiting and nothing really happening you have a black screen a little bit of a realme logo and once it's finished, you're presented with the setup screen, at which point the process is already finished, so uh, nothing more to show there. So there we go. Uh, now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs>